women can't find blokes and don't tell lies. She said to me, it doesn't matter if it takes a week, a month or a year, you're always going to find out in the end that Prince Charming ain't nothing but a lying toad and you'll scarcely recognise him from the bloke you thought you first met. And I said to her, that's a bit rich coming from you, given how often we can't recognise you the very next day. And I set about writing this poem, which I called Why a Woman Turns the Lights Off or Why a Man Always Leaves Before the Woman Wakes Up. Is that better? Than that? Okay. He can't believe what's happened to the woman of his dreams. He surveys this sleeping beauty with barely muted screams. He didn't think he'd been that pissed. But now he's not quite sure, because his woman lying next to him he's never seen before. Last night she seemed so stunning, a drop-dead gorgeous blonde. But in the night some wicked witch has waved her ugly wand. Had she but kept the lights on in that vital quarter hour, he would have seen she disappeared when she popped in the shower. Because first, she shed her hair extensions, and then pad by pad her bust. And slowly, she dismantled the object of his lust. And then she used her normal shower gel, which refreshes night and day. But this time, it had a special touch, and it washed her tan away. <laughs> Though she spent an hour or more painting it in place, she then applied this facial scrub that would remove her face. But the lights were off and the room was dark when she slipped into bed. And the vision of her loveliness still lived inside his head. But the room was dim and so was he and lager fueled his lust. And he didn't seem to notice that she'd lost her hair and bust. <laughs> well, if he was aware of it, he didn't seem to mind, as two were one in passion and their bodies intertwined. And he thought he'd done his best. He swore he'd heard her moan, while in her head she's thinking, this bastard better phone. Now, the falseness of her hair and nails is not what really matters. But in the cool, harsh light of day, his dream girl lies in tatters. And so he did the dirty deed he'd done so many times before. He silently slipped on his clothes and then he bolted for the door. But his final act of cruelty, as he sneaked out, of, out the door, the bastard took his number back to make sure she can't call. 